Oh, handbags. Okay, so there's this um interesting article that I saw featured on Heist Nobody, which of course I mentioned before, I'm not really the biggest fan of the website. I think they do, you know, a quite bad job in terms of some of the articles that they put out there. That's just my opinion. I think they do a bad job. Uh, but no, they did a interesting kind of um roundup into, you know, this um trend that I've kind of seen um percolating on the internet of uh men like myself you know some people may question my manhood but i can assure you that i am a man men like myself um wanting to wear um handbags or wearing things that look like handbags and less like satchels and you know personally coming from someone like myself who's got one of these right these um this is my kind of story of handbag hell or handbag heaven i've always been a fan of bags i've always been a fan of having backpacks when i first into the whole streetwear community that was part of my mo right buying really old uh rare supreme backpacks from like you know um the six to the 15th edition upwards right because they go for a lot of money nowadays but those are my favorite stuff i love fucking bags i love the japanese look where you kind of get these massive mountaineering bags and you wear them in an urban environment perfect for me but of course as your as your style progresses and you kind of get a bit more into things um your that idea of having two straps over your shoulders the way bags cinch on your jacket the way they kind of pull you back or sometimes the way they make you walk with a bit of a hunch it doesn't really make it doesn't not really the most flattering thing with outfits right for instance like one good example is bomber jackets wearing a backpack with a bomber jacket never looks good in my opinion um crop top jackets don't look good sometimes wearing a long coat with a back backpack doesn't look good backpacks usually only look good with like you know raincoats max uh down kind of like crop down jackets they don't really look good with anything else apart from that so as you start progressing you start to get into other things you start to get into messenger bags maybe um satchels all that malarkey and then when i started working at the cambridge satchel company a few years ago when they had a small pop-up shop in spitfords market um they had the west vivian westwood collaboration satchel which i thought was fucking heaven and for me at the time it was a perfect bag and this is the bag in, in that i'm mentioning right this bag here i've had this for years right so you can see the back here it's kind of smudged um even the the the, the kind of stamp where the sat came with satchel is meant to be is all smudged up it's all smudged up here too where the sun meant to be i had this for years right but i fucking love it because it again it's for me it's the perfect size i can fit all my stuff in it um and again it looks the much better with outfits than anything else i'd wear um that would be like a normal sort of backpack sort of stuff and i'm not really fond of carrying um this is the brunettes but i'm not really a fan of carrying like tote bags like this in your hand right these are not they're too small for me i need something i can carry and put over my shoulder um especially with a strap like this it looks amazing so i love it but i'm also aware that for, to most people a bag like this just looks like a handbag because if you put a strap on top of this that's effectively just a handbag right a lady can carry that and you wouldn't bat an eyelid but you know as time has progressed and people start getting more into things and side bags are coming to trend and that whole roadman look has kind of evolved i've kind of seen a lot of people kind of get into the whole actually having a handbag thing and for me personally again this is this is the the um going on top of the kind of article that was read up in on high snob it they've kind of made some good points regarding this um so they've kind of mentioned what I've mentioned, and this is a, a, a article on High Sabai. It says men want to wear purses; they just don't know yet. We know it, trust me. And they've got this interesting picture on the top, which again, they're both wearing purses. Um, these two kids, at, I think they're at Fashion Week, they're just posing for their street style. One of them has that Isi Miyaki handbag that, that loads of girls have. The one with the kind of like you know polygon like triangle things all over it and the other bag i'm not too sure what company that is from but anyway the article is quite good it mentions here on the following i'll read a little bit of it now on screen um da -da -da, got it up on there so it says here the crowds outside menswear shows in paris are always a good hint of what's going on what's going to be a talk of the industry in months to come i don't necessarily think so i think necessarily the crowds outside the shows are a reflection of what's already happening right and it's not as if like people are suddenly oh i'm gonna start wearing that people are really doing this if you go on forums if you go on uh uh our street where if you so if you go on most of the big kind of like um outfit people on instagram who post what they wear most part they're already doing these things before they've already featured on the runway if anything the guys outside the runways are kind of people kind of following trends but still early adopters but you know it's not so um for pushing anyway let's continue last week you saw plenty of great fits but frank ocean and his large green saline bag were a particular show stealer snap aside louis vuitton the sleek leather uh, phoebe fowler design tote contrasted against the singer's casual combo of bright orange puffer and jeans and beanie true that picture of um him wearing the handbag was very interesting because um i think frank ocean's walking what's he walking through i think he's walking through let's see if i can find it i think he's walking i think he's walking um so yeah like i mentioned to louis vuitton show you're walking outside right um let me quickly see if i can get up on here da, 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 frank ocean paris 
Celine. So there's this picture of Frank Ocean, yeah, with a handbag that everyone was kind of going goo goo gaga over, right? There we go. Bush bash bosh, show that. So there we go. This picture, right, right there. So that was interesting to me. Number one, of course, because it's you know Phoebe Philo. Uh, Celine is kind of maybe Frank Ocean saying, you know, bring back Phoebe Fowler because everyone's kind of you know, kicking Heidi Cement in the nuts because they don't like what he's doing. But also, it was a kind of good nod and reminder to me because I remember back in the day when I used to hang out with some of the OG streetwear guys or I used to talk to some of them. I remember that there's this guy called Andrew Bunny who now owns his own uh, jewelry company called uh, Bunny and he's worked with Gimme Five and he's quite like well known in the industry. And um, I remember when I met him once for an interview I had to do for him, like, for, I think it might have been Hype Beast back in the day. Um, I met him up to have a coffee and have an inter sit down interview. I remember he came with a Louis Vuitton back a Louis Vuitton handbag. You know the women's handbag, um, which is this one, I think. Let me let me try and get it up. He was wearing one of these handbags as like a tote. Instead of wearing having a tote bag, he had like a handbag. And I thought it looked fucking amazing. I thought it looked really, really cool. And ever since then I've seen someone like Hiroshi Fujiwara wearing it and a few others, a Japanese alum uh, um alumni and it kind of got me thinking oh that would look actually quite good as a for a guy to wear it but then i don't think i was as comfortable to wear it just on the shoulder strap as a handbag i wouldn't mind if they had a if they had like a little strap you could maybe attach it yourself like i go go to like a cobbler or somebody and get them to put like a leather strap on the outside of those bags and the bag that i'm mentioning is this bag right it's from louis vuitton i think it's available you can buy it online um this is the bag that i saw andrew um andrew bunny wearing when i when i met him in a coffee shop uh la, la, la. come on load 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 it's called the uh, Never Four, right? Never Four MM. I think monogram print, I'm assuming that is, right? So this is the bag that I saw Andrew Bunny wearing when he came uh, to meet me for a coffee. And this was a guy, right? And I, that's what, I remember this was, this must have been like 2000, maybe 2000 and 2008 or 2007. I remember making him up for this, right? And I thought, fuck, that looks really cool. So essentially, it's just like a woman's handbag, right? It, it just is. It just it is a woman's handbag, but um, he was wearing it like this. And I remember he virtually Fujiwara had one, and he kind of like stenciled the fragment logo on on the side with a spray paint, right? Kind of put stencil on it, kind of sprayed it, kind of made it a bit more rugged, maybe a bit more masculine looking. But I thought you could easily maybe take some of the straps or on the inside or some of the strings they might be attached to it and attach it to the side of it and kind of make it into like a a kind of satchel kind of totally thing you can wear across your body and it could be as good as anything else you'd see a man wear and i thought it looked quite interesting right so that's what it looks like blah blah blah, blah. and um so when obviously of course frank ocean where everyone kind of got you know crazy the handbag but it makes sense right again like i mentioned backpacks only serve a certain purpose and they don't look good with most outfits and um handbags you can just fit more in it a handbaggy hatch satchel type thing you can throw it around it works with most outfits as you've seen mo with most women where they wear their handbags it's rare especially for the more more expensive bags it's rare that a woman will have like three or four celine's or hermes bags or chanel bags right they might only have a couple of them but they wear them with all their outfits because you know it's the handbag that kind of steals the show for instance so guys are kind of doing the same thing um so that is quite interesting uh anyway the article continues um uh, it showed how the attitude towards bags and menwear is changing. You don't have to look feminine or overdressed to sport a sizable accessory traditionally associated with women's fashion, which is true. In recent years, bags for men have gone from something almost taboo to one of the hottest trends and biggest energy players with keen to jump on board, which is true. You know, all over the runway show, menswear especially, especially in Milan, that's the most stodgy, kind of like um, well-to-do, uh, proper place. You saw fucking side bags, mentioned bags everywhere, which is quite an interesting job position, right? Considering most of the outfits or most of the collections in milan were quite suit and tailored based but they all had a, a kind of splashing of a satchel or some sort of like waist bag or something right some sort of pocket -y kind of thing because it seems like again i don't know what it was before but i didn't mind putting stuff in my pockets right? i'd always have my pockets fucking stuffed with shit but it seems like guys don't want to have stuffed pockets everyone wants to look really sleek and well put together i'm not sure what that's about again which again is the evolution of uh, how men put together stuff together and now it's cool oh, i actually mentioned milan here that's cool continues in milan fenny presented uh men's versions of the label signature bugatti and peekaboo bags and a collaboration with japanese luggage expert porter again which is the quintessential you know um uh maker of bags that of men that from various ranges from backpacks to saddle bags to messenger bags they will make them all of it a hybrid of a side bag and handbag in red blue and camouflage nylon um at kim john's dior show um almost every outfit was accompanied by a compliment by a bag a crossbody uh, versions of the dior saddle bag 
um, with the Bako Mebra leaks. Uh, the, the, you have here, bag here, like kind of, again, like a bit of a handbag at Prada. Meanwhile, there were already comfortable black nylon backpacks and Luebe had sleek crocodile clutch bags, large leather totes and variations of the label's hit puzzle bag. For full winter 2009, 2019, um, almost every ever major house had an updated it bag um, of there as thoroughly as Virgil Abloh. In less than a year at Louis Vuitton, he has given us numerous versions of the Keppel, a glow-in-the-dark, iridescent, semi-transparent, neon pink, yellow, soft grey, oversized black. That's what he's won in that range, isn't he? Embossed in puffer material. This season also gave us a medium and large purse, like a mini version of Louis Vuitton signature retro travel trunks. Historically, men and bags have been complicated relationships. Google the two words together. I bag says blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, We've had a questionable relationship. Again, there's this guy wearing this bag that looks fucking incredible, right? That's a great, great look. So, again, you're seeing the evolution of it coming year in, year out. And, again, I only can speak for myself. Like, I don't like to wear backpacks all the time. I like the kind of satchel bag that's happening. I kind of like the trend that I'm seeing nowadays. I think since the Frank Ocean thing has popped up, and, again, since I mentioned, I've always had the kind of idea of having that kind of tote. So I'd, much, I'd be much more... I'd be more than happy to kind of pick up a fucking bootleg of the um, Louis Vuitton Never Fall. Because I think the retail is what? The retail is ba, 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 920 pounds. I'm not paying that. So I'm happy to pay for like a fucking bootleg from, I don't know, Dawson Market or something and just get the strap attached to it over the top and use that as a sort of bag to wear. Again, you could easily just spray paint names on the side of it or make it a little bit, you know, graffiti up a bit um, similar to uh, what's the collaboration? Is it Stephen Sprouse with um, Lou, Mark Jacobs and Louis Vuitton that was quite a um, comfortable collection and again you're going to see a lot of it happening in the new seasons happening more so coming up and again thanks streetwear man for all these fashion critics that want to say take them in bag get the streetwear guys out they're taking all our stuff right all the stuff that kind of makes us who we are right the things that we're, we're we were always the ones that were cool wearing fucking side bags now you're seeing all these other fashion easter guys wearing side bags right and all these fashion critics want to say tailor in's back to get us out of the out of the room and look what they want they want to take our little accessories it's not gonna happen not under my watch 